Um, <laughs> sorry about that, folks. <laughs> um, yes, it is this mad, really, all the time. Um, <laughs> um, what was that bloody saying? Colin of the Apocalypse, that's what I was saying. <laughs> oh, I forgot the bud of bean, though. <laughs> Call it, call it, call it, call it. Call it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, so, so you like, give us a call. Oh, oh you look really oh. well. Greetings, Hi, live on air. Hello, oh, beautiful. Oh, How are you? Uh, yeah. Hi, Linda. Come, Come on, on to you your desk. Oh. <laughs> Hello, chaps. <laughs> um, What's the topic today? Oh, we're just going on, uh, we're just uh, touching at the moment on the morphogenetic field. And uh, I was uh, currently uh, extrapolating my theory about there only being 72 human souls. I'm off then. See okay, ya. see ya. <laughs> oh, then I'll get the bong out. You'll I've got, get up I've got nothing. I don't think I've got much to contribute to that. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be the 73rd soul. Well, to be quite honest, I've cover, pretty much covered the, 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 uh, the, uh, the basic premise. I'll, I'll, I want Ooh, to um, uh, yeah. try and uh, dissect it a little more uh, over the coming weeks as it becomes clearer to me, I suppose. This is something that really only uh, uh, has been racking loose in my head since sort of Tuesday night. But, uh, oh, Dave, welcome to the room. Welcome to the show. Well, thank you. Welcome back to uh, the Posh and the Peckham. Yeah, you know what? It took me uh, bloody three hours to get here. For oh sake. my god, but you now you know. know that you don't need to wear your stab proof jacket. Well, I, I knew that. I mean, uh, I can You in. weren't sure. I can Come on, in. own up. You were taken in. I can blend in. You know what I mean? skills. <laughs> <laughs> the first time Dave came round here, I, I sent him a, a, a warning by private message that. Uh, uh, that um, stab proof vests were de rigueur in the area, uh, and especially if he was coming in from out of the manor as a, as a, as a non resident, that he'd be better off wearing one. And uh, one of the first things he said to me when he got out of the car was, Oh, oh I didn't bring the stab proof vest, but I wasn't sure that it was at all necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dave. <laughs> <Yeah. coughs> you've you got have a bit of a wicked sense of humor. Now you have learnt not to take me so literally. Oh, I yeah, see. Right. No, I'm, I'm okay with this. <laughs> oh, I listened back through that bloody tape of uh, you, me, and Vin talking. Oh yeah. On Skype, you two are ganging up on me so rotten about you've got yeah. used to it. Uh, yeah. Bloody <laughs> bullies. Fair of you. I don't think I'll, I've, uh, I've had a go at you over the uh, the rotund quote. <laughs> no, yes you did. Uh, yes, yes you did. Yes you yes, did. In that conversation, I haven't recorded it. Yeah. Rotund voice. Rotund voice. Yeah, um, how, can, how can anyone have a rotund voice? <laughs> It means that you, means you have large lungs. <laughs> yeah, and um, fat bars, that's yeah, what you're saying. No, 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 well, oh, well maybe. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to come out if I can't run over here. I can't help about the shape I'm in, I can't sing, I ain't pretty and my legs are thin, but don't ask you what I think of you, I might not give the answer that you want me to. Um, all right, so Dave, I mean, uh, uh, how are you feeling things are going over on the Freeman League? You've got to be fucking so chuffed with the way that the kind of uh, turnings out have turned out for that little organisation. Yeah, um, well, we seem to be uh, picking up members left, right and centre. Um, it, uh, it seems to be going well. I've, um, as I said, we've got some, um, I, I can guess, reveal, we've got some land. Oh, we have a scoop. Yeah, and... Um, this is what I was hoping I don't, for. I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to say too much about it. No, um, that's since. okay. But just we have some land, so the Freeman League yeah. is now Eco Village target. Indeed. Um, I, I need to. to I still right. need to talk to a few people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Including you, actually. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we, we've got to, you know, start thinking about how to uh, make the the extensive plans we've got on the uh, on the mm, site yeah, yeah. into a reality. reality. Well, this is this this was the thing that I was saying to you, wasn't it? When the when the site had kind of fallen into dormancy, and we were just getting a spam fest over there, um, and uh, I remember pointing out to you at the time that the the having spent a lot of time online for the Freeman League, um, trying to accumulate the the necessary kind of technical data that we would have been dealing needing to deal with or are needing to deal with. Essentially, we gathered together a, a resource in a single spot that was unlike any other resource on the internet, bar none. Yeah. So even before the kind of transposition of uh, Colin of the Apocalypse from uh, the upsets over at the TV, you <laughs> say, <laughs> 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 
That does get a little bit tiresome though, so I may have to drop the butt butter bit. No, I'm keeping it. Oh, is that going to the vote? Is it all right? No, not even going to the vote. Oh no, no, it's just dictate. lateral. Dictate from Cass. We're trying to get away from. Oh no, sorry. Yeah, no, no. She's she's. You made her admin. You made her admin. You should. It was a big mistake. Yeah, no. What Dave can do. Watch it. I was going to say, watch it. She'll ban your ass. Um. Yeah, so essentially, we so we we already had this enormous resource that that, that a, a team of probably there's about 150 of us, wasn't there, at, at its height last year, <coughs> were feeding into as essentially a, a kind of permaculture, eco living, low impact living, uh, just alternative lifestyle uh, resource, uh, unlike anything else on the internet. Um, the site then kind of fell into dormancy because the plans uh, for the various sites that you had in the in the pipeline all gradually one after the other fell through, didn't they? Well, the uh, I think it was the main uh, main site that we were going to go yeah, for. Yeah, well, that was certainly was yeah, that was a big boob, wasn't it? That one. Um, yeah. Announced a little too publicly, really. Well, you know, well, I mean, this is another thing as well. We we come to this from from a stance of uh, honesty and and uh, openness. Um, we tend to just that's that's how we interact with the world. We do it naturally. Yeah. Um, and so it was. I don't think it was necessarily a mistake. Well, to have, to I, I, yeah, I still think it, it was a bit of a mistake, you know, because um, I was very naive in believing that. Uh, that is actually one of the people, words that I would have used to describe you, actually, Dave. Oh, thanks a lot. You're, that's two. <laughs> no, that's, that's, that's not a bad thing. No, it really no, isn't, and in your case, it is a, a very endearing and feature. And it's not bad but... being a little bit cuddly either. <laughs> you know, I speak from experience. I'm leaving now. Because, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, no, 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 stand being insulted some more. <laughs> this is a bit of a heavy way to walk through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'm funny. You're on air. I've been yeah. seeing YouTube of myself. And I'm a, I am more funny looking thing. I did, I've never seen my, my mouth move like that before. I'm funny looking. I don't mind. Well, I've, I've, I've been hearing sorry. myself on uh, interviews and I'm I'm funny sounding. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, everybody. I've got the hang of your voice. I don't think your throat's ever quite recovered from that first bomb, you know. No. Well, <laughs> <laughs> no, no I don't think the rest of me's recovered yet. Yeah, no, no, you, you, you have. <clears> you've developed a slightly sort of croaky, croaky yeah. sort of. Um, Huskiness, yeah. that I'm sure it didn't have before. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to have your larynx inside out with that. <laughs> but going back to the topic. Yeah, back, um, to, back on topic. Back on topic. Who's no, a professional here? You or me? Down. Oh, it's you, isn't it? It was, um, <laughs> it was um, yeah, it was a bit naive for me to expect. Oh, we got a message from Elena. Jack, I have found Phil. I think he kiss kiss. We have, we have a filtered Phil. Oh, no. Did we lose Phil? Uh, no, this is filtered. Oh, okay. um, Another Phil. We have we have yeah. we have two Martins, and now we have two Phils. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So so yeah, I think we were naive in believing that people would, uh, you know, normal people would We'd accept welcome, us, welcome the idea, and uh, and like the idea, and you know, live and let live. But uh, you know, apparently that's a bit too much. For, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, to, be, to, 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 give the, to give the locals their due, as soon as I walked off of that site with my... Oh, hey, cyberism! Hey. Hey. Yeah, as you were saying on all these truths... Oh, God, it's gone. It'll come back to you. Hello, beautiful. Stand up and out of my... How are you? I'm good, thanks. I'm good. And, you know Welcome what? I brought world. the organ I've been carrying it around all the time. Okay. I just use it all the time. What, I just the stick it in yeah, the pocket. I, I just, yeah, on the way out of that site, when we first went on a first visit, I've got a little Having had my experience oh, yeah. with the UH yeah. travel, and uh, having yeah. chosen yeah. sites all over the country, yeah. sort of thing, I, I was walking up there, and despite in my, pocket, my enthusiasm about the, the landscape, the, the sighting of it <laughs> was just ringing a whole bell straight away. The nearness of the, uh, the local council estate, uh, the fact that the, the local lads used it as their motocross mm -hmm. bike track and when they burn out their cars yeah, and stuff. Well, that, 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 uh, that was one of the reasons, oh, no. that was actually one of the reasons I thought was, oh, no, it was a good that. thing because um, the site we, we chose, 
um, was being advertised as a motocross site, and the locals hated the idea. Mm. And um, when we spoke to the locals about our plans, they seemed to be pleased as punch that we weren't going to be riding motorcycles up and down the place. Yeah, and then non second thoughts, oh no, we'll have a bunch of these instead, give us the motorbike. Right, but um, going back to what you said about uh, the nearness of the uh, estate. The, the site was actually on a hill, and um, from anywhere on the site, it looked like you're about three or four miles away from any human yeah. habitation, yeah. Oh, except yeah. for one corner of the land where it's kind of sloped, sloped, uh, sloped down to the, uh, to the town, which is, you know, yeah. so, uh, uh, yards away. I mean, again, there, surely um, you must now have uh, learned a lot about the, the need for consideration of things like topography. Yeah. Uh, 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 consideration of something like an and you must now agree that that site was completely unsuitable from, from the outset. Simply due, simply due to topography. Um, I mean, uh, if, if you're talking about being off the grid, the first thing that you really have to consider oh, as your main consideration has to be oh, the supply of water. Indeed. And, Indeed. and collecting water Indeed. on the top of that hill would have been very It'll difficult. Be you, you certainly wouldn't have been able to drill for it. Well, we, um, yeah, we found so water. Just piece of stone. Um, but well, no, yeah, yeah, that was a consideration, consideration obviously. Yeah, well, I mean, this is just something worth bearing in mind for anybody that's planning this. So just to remember that uh, water doesn't run up here. Right. So you're better off being mid valley or down the bottom. I mean, generally speaking, if, you, if you're moving into a valley, uh, it's unwise to take up uh, a position by the side of the river because the top's getting driven, whereas the likelihood of flood. So the best place to be is actually halfway up the valley. And then you can tap off your water the down. Well, I do, I do have to stress that the designs that we had um, to call for actually recycling and, and reusing water um, and you know, collecting as well. So, um, so the idea is once the uh, once the um, so essentially other than evaporation, it, 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 other than evaporation, it's essentially a closed circuit. Right, and yeah. once the system's charged, then you're not going to see much loss. And that, that loss will be replenished by. Uh, uh, I must admit, I hadn't actually, I hadn't actually considered that at all in my my evaluation of that site. I mean, um, uh, I was purely thinking about requiring groundwater. I mean, largely as well for power generation as much as anything else. We discussed um, uh, the requirement for a small hydro plant. Right. Um, yeah, that was one of the ideas that was uh, floating around. <coughs> yeah. Well, I still, I'm still. Um, I I I quite like the idea of the uh, the wind tower. The water pumping wind tower that lifts water into a, a header tank, which is then tapped off by a, 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 a micro uh, generating water turbine, which can then be turned up and down according to the load, removing the need for batteries in the system. So essentially, the battery becomes the water in the tank rather than the, the chemo energy stored within the battery tank. Sure. Um, we, well, you, you notice we had lots of lots of brilliant ideas that. that came out of that. Um, actually, um, I, I mentioned to you the other day, um, I just uh, started work on a, another idea. Oh yeah, 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 this um, Tesla switch. The Tesla switch, a Tesla battery switch. I have heard of it as it goes, yeah, when I thought about it a bit further, yeah, once you started describing the, the mechanism to me, yeah, I had come across it. Sure. Um, it's, you know, it's very, it's very exciting because I've, I've been seeing this thing for the last few years mm. and looking at it and thinking, oh, yeah, I don't really get it. And, you know, it's uh, Maxwell. It Maxwell. I keep bloody quoting him as Moore. It's not bloody Moore's law. It's Maxwell's laws. Maxwell was one of Tesla's compatriots. Okay. And if you want to go looking, go look for the early Maxwell work, where mm. he's work, where he's um, uh, drawing up all of the um, the kind of laws of electrodynamics. Right. And it's the Maxwell's law from which we get the the uh, ohms, amps volts uh, triangle but in the all of the textbooks we're taught the the, the left-handed and the right-handed um, uh, uh, way of thinking about electrical current traveling through a wire well in fact in Maxwell's diagram there weren't three fingers you would have to have, to have four and one of them would be pointing that way and that would be the ether yeah, so in, in all of the, the current uh, uh, electrical modeling elect electronical modeling the the all of the maths is done on a broken model on an incomplete model it just happens 
that for most instances it works yeah. and holds true. Yeah? yeah. But for what the sort of realms that you're dealing in, you need the original Maxwell documents, right, not well, the sanitised. What Tesla is basically saying is that we're we're taught.